Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Tandini's channel. Well, this week I have been pretty busy with my work and got so many things to do. So I didn't have a time to edit a video or post a video earlier. But today I will talk to you about the upcoming Head Speed 2024 or the Oxidic 2.0 version. Since both of the finalists on the ATP finals, Djokovic and Sinner, uh, they endorses the head speed line. Actually, this is the mode that Yannick Sinner uses on tour. I already put a review of this racket on my channel, so go check it out. Well, first of all, I can neither agree nor disagree whether I have tried the head speed 2024 or not. I say it like a politician, right? But I can say that I got some insight information about them, which I will share with you guys in this video. So stay tuned. But before we get to that, uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, so more people will see this video. Okay, first of all, the new Head Speed 2024 is set for a launch in the first quarter next year. So here's a preview. It will come in five specs. So you will still get the Pro and the MP with the same specs as the previous generation with the 23mm beam, which is, uh, I hope it to be thinner to deserve the name speed. But the big changes will be mainly on the lighter specs. If I will not get into detail, but there are some changes on the head size and the static weight. So what's the update on this new speed 2024? Well, basically, uh, the paint job, it will become a velvet paint job. Something like the previous uh, version of the Wilson, like this one, is a velvet paint job, the Pro Staff, and the Person. But I think it will feel more luxury. The Oxidec 2.0 is the technology that allows the racket to like expand the graphite, expand and then shrink at the contact with the ball. So you will get more feel and more connection with the ball pocketing. And I think they put the offset in the yoke of the racket over here and then in the handle. So you will feel it more. And on the paint job, I think you guys can find the leak photo on the internet. If you have seen them, let me know what you think about the new paint job in the comment below. But in my opinion, it does not impress me at all. I still prefer the all black version a lot more than the new one. Okay, so what are the differences on the Pro and the MP that have the exact same specs with the previous generation? Uh, is it just a new paint job or what? Well, I would say it will be a lot of improvements. Generally, the speed line has never been my favorite rackets because I think it's just a so-so on every aspect. Like, it doesn't feel good, it doesn't pop that much, um, it gives an okay power, but the control is just meh, and spin is very mediocre. But I don't dislike it because, um, you know, I play pretty well with it especially on the MP version. I just don't want to use it because there's so many options out there that I like it more. But on the Speed Pro 2022, I simply just cannot gel with it. It feels slow and sluggish and has short dwell time, which doesn't fit my swing that much. But on this new 2024 version, I can't believe that I'm saying this, but I expect it will be the best Speed Pro in the history and I prefer it more than the MP, surprisingly. I suspect it to have a lot more topspin than the previous version even with the same 1820 pattern and it will have way better feel. Uh, dampener is not needed. From the racket that I cannot gel with it to the racket that I can just, you know, pick it up and play. So let's see. On the MP, I think it will be a bit better, more predictable string bed and feel, of course. 
but the pace of the ball still not there uh, and it will land short when you try to increase the top spin the same as the previous version and the power on the service on both version the pro and the mp i imagine to have better penetration and spin okay so this is the preview of what you should expect from the new head speed 2024 I will come back and post a full review video after it's been launched next year. This video just came from my imagination or what? Well, you don't have to believe it.